So it's about one in the morning. I just got home from Fashion Arts Toronto, which is a big fashion show that happens here. It goes across four days. Tonight was the first night and it was my first time ever doing sort of runway photography. But while I was there at the end of the runway on the media platform, I happened to realize that all these complaints that people had about the GH5's autofocus was when they were testing it with somebody in the distance and then coming close. And I was like, well, I'm on a end of a runway where people are in the distance and they're coming close to me. So why not roll video for a little bit and see what happens and see how the camera rolls with it. Normally, I am 100% against using autofocus on video, but in this situation, I was taking stills and then turning over to video. So it was just a matter of simplification rather than switching over to manual focus when I was shooting video and then going back to autofocus when I was taking photos. I thought, you know, let's let's see what happens. A couple of things I want to note is that uh, the settings were continuous autofocus was turned on for video and I had it set to five and two. Another thing I should mention is that I was using the Panasonic 35 to 100 f2.8 lens. So a lot of the times I would be at 100 as the model stepped onto the runway and by the time she got to the end of the runway I would be out to 35. So now whether that means the camera has to calculate a lot extra because it's not only is it refocusing everything but it's also zooming, uh, that might play into how things played out. Last thing I want to say is uh, a lingerie designer happened to be showing their stuff when I decided to roll video. I didn't plan for this, it just happened to happen. So if you happen to have a job at a place where they don't like you looking at uh, women in lingerie at work, you might want to wait till the end of the day. So the main thing I noticed is that as the model approached the end of the runway and as I was zooming out, the camera would focus and unfocus just for fractions of a second, like maybe across three to six frames. It doesn't seem to happen at a regular interval, it seems to be fairly sporadic. And you do get a couple of good seconds in there. So if I was making a compilation out of all this stuff, I would probably only pick the two or three seconds here or there before that little focus and defocus happens. But it's still uh, not perfect. So here's a case where the autofocus failed pretty bad. Uh, I was zoomed out quite far and then I zoomed in hoping to catch uh, whatever pose the model did at the end of the runway. And it didn't work at all and it took like six or seven seconds to catch up to her and it was kind of a bummer. Where I think the autofocus worked well was when I would go from a model going back to the start of the runway to the next model. You got somebody here and another person here and it was a pretty smooth transition for those few seconds from the one person to the next. Personally, I don't think the camera did that bad. I mean, this situation is pretty crazy. If you think about how many people there are in the background moving around, um, sometimes the lighting is changing in the middle of the model walking. So the camera's got a lot to deal with here and it's doing a not so bad job. I really feel like I could use a lot of this footage as it is. If you were making some really fast compilation video just using snippets here and there, this footage isn't that bad for that. So here's the end of the show when all the models come out and it does a pretty good job here of keeping everything in focus. I mean, nothing's really out of focus. Everything's kind of uh, whatever's closest seems to be in focus and that works for this. So I guess the moral of the story is uh, don't use autofocus on video. Maybe they'll make it better. Frankly, I'm not that disappointed uh, considering all the hoopla about this. It's really not that bad. If you happen to like any of the designs you saw in the video and you or someone you know uh, likes to wear lingerie, uh, why don't you go to withlovexoxo.com and uh, check out their catalog. I don't work for them. I just figured uh, I'm using their stuff to uh, do this video. Might as well give them a plug. Personally, I don't look very good in lingerie. Maybe a banana hammock. <laughs>